Clark's attorneys also said that it, when this case moves forward, they're confident in a self-defense claim. What's up, hard workers? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork, and I'm super duper back with another one, y'all. Real quick, y'all, real quick. I'm going to need y'all to do me a quick favor, right? I'm going to need y'all to hit that subscribe button. And after y'all hit that subscribe button, I'm going to need y'all to hit that bell button so you get all my dopeifications like the one I'm about to drop right now. So, so... This almost sound like something I was talking about in my last video, in my last couple of videos about this guy, DJ Patrick. Now, with this situation, I was speaking on in this takeoff situation. Like I said, this is going to be a very tight situation. Trust me. But I'm about to play this quick clip for y'all real quick because they speaking on Quavo as well. And it's also what I said before about the situation about the hood. So. Listen to this quick clip real quick, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I got to listen. We begin with big developments in a Harris County courtroom. Today, the suspect in the high-profile killing of rapper Takeoff asked the judge for a lower bond. Investigators say Clark opened fire during a fight over a dice game, and they claim he planned to run to Mexico. Gerald Harris joins us live from the courthouse with more. Gerald. Yeah, Clark has a $2 million bond. His lawyers are trying to get that amount reduced by as much as they can as negotiations continue with prosecutors and the judge. For several hours, Patrick Clark's defense attorneys and prosecutors argued in front of Judge Josh Hill about Clark's $2 million bond amount for a murder charge. Today, hearing was fair, and I believe that it went well. Clark's attorneys pointing to the Texas state constitution told the court that the bond amount is way more than what Clark's family could afford. Defense attorneys brought forth witnesses, including Clark's father, and a bondsman to discuss financial implications on the family and if there is a bond company that could handle the high dollar amount. We feel comfortable that if we adhere to the judge's requests and orders, that he will set the bond as a reasonable amount that the Texas, Texas constitution requires him to do. Prosecutors argued they discovered video evidence linking Clark to being the shooter. Evidence allegedly showing Clark searched on his phone, Texas law surrounding friendly fire. Prosecutors also said Clark searched for fake airplane tickets and requested an expedited passport, which concerned the judge that he might be a possible flight risk. I certainly understand the judge's position and the judge's concerns. It is our every intention to dispel of those concerns. Judge Hill requested an affidavit of financial records of Clark. He also wants GPS technology in place that would notify the court of any tampering or violation of bond orders. Defense lawyers are asking for a $300,000 bond if conditions are met. Clark's attorneys also said that it, when this case moves forward, they're confident in a self-defense claim. Also revealed in open court today was Quavo, another member of the Migos, was part of the argument in the fight that led to the shooting. Defense attorneys and prosecutors say he has not been cooperating. In downtown Houston, Gerald Harris, KHOU 11 News. All right, we are going to stay on top of this story. Gerald, thank you so much. Now... I made a video a while back talking about the no snitch policy. And you can clearly see from what they're saying, Quavo is sticking to the no snitch policy. That was what's holding it up from the rip. That was holding the case up from the rip. Everybody was wondering what's taking so long. Because Quavo not saying nothing. And honestly, the way Quavo live, he's not going to be able to say nothing. Unless he's going to be another gunner. Now, how y'all feel about that? I want to ask y'all about that because... Everybody looking at Gunner as a snitch, which he did tell. Definitely told. There's nothing around that. Now, in this situation, it's different because Quavo was there. That's his nephew. He was right there when, when, when Takeoff got hit up. I'm pretty sure he's seen what happened. What do you think he should do? Do you think he should go on the stand and testify and sit there and point out what happened? Because if he do, y'all know what people are going to do, right? They're going to make videos about him. People not going to listen to their music like that no more. But yet, people still want justice. Y'all got to pick and choose what y'all want. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it a buck. This happens in the hood all the time. And believe it or not, people don't say nothing. I don't know how they deal with it. I'm pretty sure we can use our imagination. And sometimes people don't. 
Now, that was what's hold that was what was holding up the case from the gate. That's why nobody can find this person who did this and who did that. Because of the no snitch policy in the hood. Now, with well, old boy claiming self defense, honestly, he might get off. Because think about it, they're not charging him with a gun, they're charging him with the murder. They're charging Lil, Kim, Lil Fifth Ward Cam with possession of a gun. Migo Bands, they talked to him already, cleared him. Now, all they're going to look at is this. Who drew the gun? Who, who was the first person to draw the gun? Whoever drew the gun, that's who's going to get charged with it. That's why they got a private investigator, because the court's even looking at this case like, damn, from the looks of it, old boy might get off. That's why they took his bell down. They threw him a high bell because of the hype that's going on. It's in the public. It's a high-profile case. Two million dollar bell. They also gave him a private investigator. Y'all got to look at the things that they're doing. They believe, they probably believe that he's was self-defending himself. When you look at that video, that video is all over the place, but you can see some key things in that video that will make him come up with that defense. So it's your boy Frankie Hardwork. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I want to ask y'all a question. Do y'all believe he might get off on, on self-defense? And also, do y'all believe Quavo should take the stand? And if he do, will his career be over? Y'all be easy.